What's up, everybody? Let me just pull out of here. You really take your life in your hands on this. Uh, they call it the Street of Shattered Dreams for a reason. Man, very scary. What's up, Melissa, Ronnie, Smelly Cat, everybody else? I hope you're doing well tonight. Welcome aboard. You fired up on a coffee? Bullshit a little bit. We got some lottery tickets. We still got to deal with. Why are you calling me, man? The hell are you calling me? What's up, Diane? What's up, Nocturnal? Let's get us some uh, coffee time and hang out. I'm sporting my new champion uh, sweatshirt, which is nice. It's going to be comfortable. It's going to be cold out there tonight. Oh, let's see. We got, I think we got two tickets. Tickets. I don't know where the hell you scratch this thing. That's where it is. This way. We got a ticket to. Got a ticket to ride. All right. So let's go in and take care of a little business. Ooh. Win big, guys. We got cemetery fun. Maybe we'll be lucky.
what a score today. You guys are not going to believe. You guys aren't going to believe what just happened. Holy shit. Holy crap. You guys aren't going to believe it. What's up, everybody? Wow, what a score. I just came out of the store and I found 25, 35, 45, 46 cents. Look at that, guys, right on the ground. Unbelievable luck today. Unbelievable. Just sitting right down there for the plucking. How about that? <sighs> Unbelievable, man. Woo! What a score, huh? We're already in the wind column today. Man, I just have to look at you talk about good luck. Look at that, guys. 46 cents. 25, 35, 45, 46 cents here today. Look at that. You believe that? Now that's that just tells you, man, it's the land of the sidewalks are paved with gold. 46 cents just man that puts me in the best mood tonight. It's not that I'm cheap, you know, but I'm just saying every every little bit. <laughs> I know some of y'all like holy shit, you act like you just won a million dollars on the lottery. Ah we got the mask requirement. I just I have to pinch myself. I can't believe it. How often are you gonna find 46 cents on the ground there? I mean really free money's free money, Jody. I mean the, the whoa. Damn I'm good looking. <laughs> I don't like these things are so white they make my teeth look uh, yellow, which they're not. So, anyway, wow. Yeah, it's it's pretty chilly, man. Let me do a temperature 67 degrees. That means it's going to be 59 in about an hour or so. So, we got it ready. All right, what did I miss? But I'll tell you, man, found some money. Yeah, I thought I won a lottery there with that. Uh, let's see, free money. I gotta scroll up. Hi, Em. How you doing, baby doll? Blue hair. Oh my God, the blue hair guy. Hey, Jay. Right place at the right time. I don't know, Diane. I'm trying to scroll up and see your thing, honey. Let's see, Rosie. You're more than welcome to go to pick my stepmom in the morning before our flight back. Yeah, just let me know. Um, yeah, that would be cool. I don't imagine your mom wants to do the bikini hot tub bid with us, but you never know. The guy who gets on his knees and dives. And that's what I'm telling you, uh, Trolley. I'm designed for that, to get over to the Golden District. There's also, uh, they call them gutter cleaners in India. They go around after the heavy rains, the gold merchants, the dust gets in the air and it ends up on the streets and it gets swept into the sewers. And they'll crawl down into the sewers and lift out all that sludge into buckets and they'll take it to this intermediary guy who will melt that down and after a thousand, two thousand pounds or whatever, they'll, they'll have a gold ingot. It's pretty amazing. But whoo, I found 46 cents today. Great bud, may want a hot tub with this. There you go. You're uh, well, Noreen, you know. Um, yeah, it's you can see the video on um, YouTube. It's called the My World Documentary or something. The gold, uh, the gold diggers of uh, Mumbai or something. So yeah, forty-six cents is. I mean, that's that's a really good score today. I mean, when you can walk along. Of course, the thing would be better some foldable money, but it's a windy day and. Um, there's a certain technique I've learned for scanning the ground as you walk to pick up odd change and sometimes on a good day I've been able to pick up close to 50 cents off of the street and if you do that like six or seven times and you know you're talking about three or five dollars I guess cheerleading school is in today chick is skinny I like my girls well built. I don't like, you know, the skinny ones are kind of XOI, what we call, what we used to call the explode on impact. <laughs> Just can't, can't, can't take that, can't take that beating. 
Uh, stepmom, I know your mom is beautiful, Diane. I've seen your mom a lot of times. How you doing, Joni? Yeah, we're cemetery and yeah, definitely got to look at the bright side of things. Life is what you make it. Uh, is life really that desperate? No, but um, you know, I had an uncle when I was growing up in Baltimore and uh, we got we got 25 cents a week for allowance growing up. I remember that. 25 cents was that was some kind of money, man. You could buy a nickel coke or something like that and my uncle's like, you know, you got that eye for stuff. You know, you're always looking on, you're always, they didn't call it the hustle, that is, you're always on the come, right? You're always looking for something, the angle. Like you're, you're looking at, you're asking me how to be, how to give points in the hood, you know, and how to shark and things like that, and how to, uh, you know, do the basketball lines. And I'm like, yeah, man, I'd like to know what's going on. It's like the first thing you gotta learn is you gotta learn to look at the ground when you walk. Because he said, you'd be surprised he said, in this city of Baltimore of one million people, there's probably a thousand dollars a day that's dropped on the streets down here. And if you train your eyes to look at the ground, you can really supplement your... Uh, and so ever since then, you know, I'm always kind of scanning the ground. And, you know, 46 cents. It's 46 cents, right? A penny saved is a penny earned. Life has been challenged lately, and I find peace tuning in well that's good jay i'm 510 240 is that built enough for you yes it is baby <laughs> is that built enough for you i'm not doing any ouija board uh yeah that's where money was you big give me a oh, love the vibe i always saw you oh well thank you the vibe attracts the vibe yeah baltimore life is depressing but how you doing is that um uh blackbird and there's charles how you doing charles i'm gonna have to defer my trip into um I may hit Palm Springs on the way out. Friday, I've locked in destination for uh, Vegas. So I hope I don't get caught in the afternoon crush going into Vegas on Friday. So I'm going to try to leave maybe a little bit early, 4 o'clock instead of 5 o'clock. So. Don't run into lampposts. Uh, yeah, like campgoer, you're always finding money, right? So like on a good week, I might find like 2 or $3 of... Uh, uh, of money and then you add it up and that's uh you know that's two or three tanks of gas in here and i'm not you know people say oh jesus rosie you're just you're you're tight you're cheap you know and um i i prefer to call it kind of thrifty you know and smart with a buck lady in black yeah excited and ready to shoot yeah so how you doing tracy well, I'm glad people get some joy out of the channel. I found a dollar yes ground for needles in downtown Portland. There you go. Uh, you just got to look at the ground. You know, I was first time I was in Portland, I was kind of not looking at the ground, you know, much to my regret. Now, a lot of people sit on the ground there. They lean against buildings and there's coins forever falling out of their pockets and stuff. Now, I'm not advocating y'all go out and just... You know, I mean, it doesn't sound real good when you say it to be like that, but let's face it, I'm, you know, I got a shitty van, I got it, yeah, I'm in the hood, like, what the hell am I going to do? But I got my new champion sweatshirt on. Ooh, look at that. Am I badass now? I am a hood rat par excellence. I'm going to get ready for the heat down in Vegas. It's going to be 110 degrees, which I'm looking forward to. Now, I got to tell you guys, on this trip, you got to understand that this is not your average kind of uh, trip. It's going to be light on expenses and stuff. Yeah, there'll be some pool time and things like that. But the main focus is gambling. And on the weekend, we're going to be able to spend some time with Mr. Z uh, down there and have a great time. Champion's a new Supreme shirt. Thank you. Hey, Jennifer P., how you doing tonight? Too hot now. Cute hoodie, yeah, but uh, over here, feels spooky, yeah. In about 12 to 18 months, and I predict in less than, uh, in less than probably three months, the uh, paradox of thrift will set in. What's up, uh, Teeny? How you doing, honey? Uh, yeah, I just, I like to get, uh, the older I get, the more I like to identify as hood. 
right? I mean, shit, look at how cute I am. <laughs> uh, please play the moolah slot when you go. Try to get that damn unicorn cat. Is there something called the moolah? Uh, is that bullshit or is that... Is there something called moolah? Moolah? I mean, I know what a mullah is in Iran. Uh, yeah, thumbs up are most appreciated, guys. If you get a smile on your face and you come in, and that's good. If you're as excited, hi, Shemay, as you're excited as I am to find odd change on the ground, 46 cents, it's, um, I've got a big thing we're going to go over. Maybe we'll go over tomorrow. We're going to cash in that big damn glass jar that's filled almost to the brim with just change. We're going to take that into the coin store. And we're going to dump that sound bitch into the uh, thing and see. Might be enough to get us a good... Get us a nice bet down on the, you know, on the sports betting or horse race and give us a good jump there. Uh, Diane says 85. Diane, it is now 67 degrees here. And it will be dropping rapidly here. I am on coastal California. Once that sun goes down and that sea breeze comes in, you know it's going to be 50 degrees. What's going on? What's up, Donnie? Come on, man. What's up, Donnie? Donnie's doing the casino tour like I am. Hey, Linda. So, uh, you know, if I'm going to a cemetery, it's always this weird phenomenon, guys. Outside the cemetery, and then you go into the cemetery and it's like five degrees cooler once you break the plane of the entrance and walk into the cemetery the temperature always seems to go down about five degrees or so and uh, the longer you stay in the more the apparent the feeling of the the real feel goes down in there it's a very very weird Phenomena. So it could be 96 degrees in Vegas at 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. at night, and we're chooching around the cemetery. And man, I'm like, where's my jacket? Right? Yeah, I'm gonna scare. I think I just scare myself tonight. Right? 108 Sin City. Can't wait till fall. Are you gonna meet me tomorrow on Friday or on the weekend, Justin? Coming in, brother. As they say on United Airlines, 747, 800. I'm coming in heavy. How you doing, Jessica? Not putting a damn tag on my toe, I'll tell you that. All right, so eating is going to be very slim this time. There's not going to be uh, food reviews. It's all going to be about the daily take, the gamble. Friday and Friday and Saturday will be a little more time with Mr. with Mr. Z and hanging out and doing some fun shit. I may take my um, uh, I may take my nine millimeter down with me in a couple hundred rounds down to uh, Vegas. We might go out shooting. I don't know. Maybe somebody remind me of that. Well, thank you. Hey, Joel, how you doing? Hello, Alicia. Good evening. No, D's not gone with me. I told you guys last night. D is um, probably right now. He's already in Carson City. Uh, I think we'll meet up with Dee at the end of um, a very kind YouTube subscriber who's reached out and they offered the use of their uh, place in Las Vegas at the end of August and September. I won't be able to show you the facility, maybe show you inside, but um, that's a very, very kind uh, offer. In the meantime, we've got to do some type of extensive travel. I don't know whether it's going to be Central America. I don't know whether it's going to be Chicago. I don't know whether it's going to be the Black Hills, but we, we have to fit in some kind of uh, adventure in there. So I'm not really keen to go bake my ass down in the heat. So I'm thinking, you know, we're going to be jetting off to the, to the north or whatever. Shooting places here in L.A., yep. Yeah, welcome back, Jody. You should buy one of those ghost boxes. Yeah, I think I got to pick up a ghost box. But the good news, guys, I found the flashlight. I didn't take it into Mexico with me. We parked a man on the U.S. side of the border to the CBX crossing. 
and I put it into the back because I thought, uh, this thing may not even, um, this thing may not even uh, make it through because it's lithium batteries, right? And you don't know what they're going to, I already had my sunglasses nipped down there. I wasn't in Mexico a half hour and I lost a SIM card and I lost my sunglasses and I, and I almost left my purse behind in the uh, VIPS lounge in Tijuana there, so. Don't forget the oil change. You know what, Jody? If you, I don't think you were here this morning. I got the oil change this morning. I took everybody with me. We went to the uh, uh, Chevron. We got the uh, synthetic. We're ready to go till December 2nd of 2021. We're all fired up. He was in Vatican Cree War. He was in reserve. So yeah, that's what my father was too, Diane. A soothing voice and awesome. Get some. <laughs> well, thank you, Sue. Thank you. Hey, Darla. Um, so tonight is Cemetery Lights. Now, when Mr. Z over the weekend, I'm not sure what Monkey Boy's status is going to be. There will be... Um, uh, cemetery uh, chooching it's prime time for black widows it's a great time I want to extend that a little bit to the um, you know to the palm mortuary too there and some of the uh, so, in some of the places with the column bars with all the different rows and all that so good evening Amanda um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna hop on a plane and go back to Mexico City when I come back probably fly out of uh, San Francisco or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, but it seems to me I'm going to need three weeks down there and not two weeks if I'm going to go to Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, El Salvador, a lot of the uh, Central American shitholes down there. It's going to need more time. How you doing? How you doing, Robbie? Oh, well, thank you, Doris. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, so we're going to do something. We'll probably do something domestically. Um, maybe go I-80, go back to Salt Lake, and then uh, maybe see if we can meet Alpine Gulch and uh, spend a little more time in, uh, the hell was that place? The hell is the capital of Wyoming? It's not Casper, it's not, uh, what the hell is the name? Uh, what the hell is the name of the, what's the capital? I, I was there, I can't remember the damn capital. What the hell is it? Cheyenne, yeah, back to Cheyenne. So, no, when I go to Iran, that's when I potentially put my life really on the line, right? Right. Now, believe it or not, being transgender is not is not illegal in um, in Iran. It is recognized, but it's uh, extremely dangerous if you've not gone through with all the surgeries and all that. I found it, honey. I found it. Isn't this, isn't this just so cute? Hmm? Look at that. So, so hoodish tonight. So hoodish. So I got it. Oh, oh no. Uh, will I be able to stream? It depends if I can. It's going to be expensive. Right? Most of it will probably be recorded content because you get some of these countries and man when the, the telephone service the cell service the cost of that infrastructure to put in relative to the low usage because people have no money it makes it extremely expensive to get data over uh, you know it's not like Verizon where I pay what a hundred bucks a month and I can I can stream around the clock for 30 days they might choke me down a little bit but uh, down there, man, even in Mexico, I'm paying $25 for five gigs. So, how you doing, Sugarcane? What's up, babe? So you can imagine when you get down to El Salvador or Nicaragua and these places, and you go to fire up a stream, man, you're probably talking about primo money, right? Primo money to go live. So generally we try to just do one or two lives and then do a lot of recorded content uh, down there and then s save the lives for you know Mexico and other places the flashlight I actually had in my um, hanging netting on the side I, when I was gone into Mexico I said do I really want to take the flashlight with me 
Because I thought, you know, I might go to a Mexico, I might go to a cemetery down in Mexico City, and that will be in the future, by the way. And also in Tijuana, I may go back to Tijuana and uh, Ensenada, may go with Kev down there. But I want to meet up with Sergio and go to the Panteon Number One, Numero Uno, the cemetery number one in Tijuana at nighttime. And then we can buy we can buy Sergio a little bit of dinner or something and hang out uh, hang out with him. We need to cultivate more collaborative friendships as we go along. So um, that's probably what we're going to do. Yeah, it's going to be very useful. So what I'm probably thinking about doing is going back and doing the um, uh, Tijuana, uh, maybe a week Tijuana and Sonata. Uh, deal because uh, there's more stuff I want to see down in Ensenada and I'm kind of interested in one of the $10 US hotel rooms right I mean Kev might not do that but I don't know you know I'm like bring it on it's nice to see sugarcane always oh, love sugar and uh, thank you Jen Jen good to see you honey uh, do 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 did I miss anybody? Linda Harper, love you, honey. Good to see you. Brian from the Bronx, always good to see Brian. Patricia, Jennifer P, always oh, a backbone of the channel here. Am I going alone? Hey, let it go. How you doing, babe? I actually follow you, and I am Central American and, uh, and offended. No, you're not, Tiffany. You're not Central American. You never made a comment here before. You're only a troll that's pretending. With a name like Tiffany, no way that you're Central American. Yeah, Quirky comes in a lot. Yeah, but we'll let you come and spin your nonsense here. That'll be fine. Uh, the lovely first time commenter that never made a comment ever. I follow, sure. That hotel could have bed bugs and not be very clean. Very true. I think that's the biggest risk is, um, I think that's the biggest risk is like bed bugs. You don't have to take out Tiffany. Tiffany didn't say anything, you know, it isn't being uh, offensive. But Tiffany's coming in and lying, so that's the difference. Any plans for the East Coast? That's going to be in the fall. That's going to be centered around October. We're going to shoot to the north. We got to hit that objective in Baltimore. We're going to spend a few days in Baltimore. We're going to look around in Baltimore. The weather should be fantastic in October. We're going to try to get over to the eastern shore of Maryland, which is spectacular. The home of Maryland fried, eastern shore fried chicken, crabs, crab cakes, Smithfields, uh, uh, Crisfield, Smith Island, Tangier Island, Crisfield, Salisbury, the home of Purdue chickens. Uh, there's a lot of shit to see over there. Ask me for a flashlight. Uh, ask me for a flashlight. Flashlight or fleshlight? Yeah, you can't fool me. Somebody come in like that. I'm offended. What a bunch of nonsense. With a name like Tiffany. Right. Show me one Tiffany. <laughs> hmm. But now the person's steaming there. Oh, I gotta set up another channel real quick to come back. Uh I have a full set. Well, I need a good one. You can tell immediately, Princess. You've been doing this as long as I have, and you just know immediately um, uh, when somebody comes along. It's just that you, number one, you've never seen it. They've never seen the name before. They claim they've been watching you for a long time, and the channel was just created two days ago. So. <laughs> it's what we call the triple header. Bing, 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 and all they're here is to act like they're offended by something that you said. They're good. This one came from uh, Walmart, and it's so good that my friend Robert Mack in Asia, he ordered one of these too. It's the Ozark Trail, the DT750, which has 750 lumens, which is hella bright. It's a good one. Now it's been through the mill. You can see it's it's dented. It's fallen a few times. It's had a few bumps and bruises, but uh, you know it's a damn damn good one. Damn good one. So 750 is nothing to nothing to sneeze at. So 
the, had very good fortune today. Those of you who just joined, I was able to find 46 cents of change on the ground. Walking out of the store today, pretty good. Uh, gas party there, be spooky, yes. Yeah, hey Bruce, how are you? Trying to get to Vegas weekend, man. Looks like I will miss you. Yeah, Teeny, I'm not going to be down there till the end of Vegas into the end of August into September. Return to Tucher. So, I think I'd like to return, spend a little more time in Tijuana, exploring the food scene a little bit. And um, I didn't really spend any time in Rosarito Beach except to get some cell uh, to visit the cell phone store. And then down to um, Ensenada. Maybe I can talk Kev into Port Lucia or whatever. It's on the other uh, camp. I don't know what the hell the name was. I don't know. I don't know. No, I didn't fix the license plate. Like, that the flashlight did slide open. So, we had two winning tickets last time. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Here. And I don't know what you can win up to. I think you can win anything really big. I don't know. Prizes in this game range from a free trick ticket to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. How about that? Papa John ordered fees. Were yeah, I, I can't do that. Uh, would you believe sugar cane? I've never had uh, Uber Eats or Postmates or any of I've never had them before because just the feed. Is Mr. Z in here? Mr. Z in here? Where in the hell is he? Mr. Z! I think Mr. Z. Mr. Z is ready to rock it on. Mr. Z, you like the plan, huh? So you got plenty of, uh, plenty of downtime off the crane. We can drink, we can have a good time. You don't have to worry about working on Saturday. You can go to work. I'm gonna be hitting that gamble, but man, we can hit it. Friday and uh, Saturday. What's up, Sonny? How you doing? What do you think, Mr. Z? Good setup, huh? You get the beer, bro, and you get the you get the coffee. Good to see you, Mr. Z. We're gonna be kicking it out. Good thing about Mr. Z now, he has been working his fanny off. Uh, there was a lot of deferred building and maintenance stuff to be just over. That crane is just going nonstop, which is good. Yeah, they sell cheese quesadillas, but I'm not really a cheese person. Cook tonight. Yeah, we're going to be eating slim, Mr. Z. One night, maybe we'll go over to Maybe we'll put Mr. Z into uh, Rancho Kitchen Stadium on the road. No, it's not. It's not essential, Mr. Z. I'm just saying. But you'll be fired up. You'll be up late Friday night. You'll be up late Saturday night. Um, it's all good, you know, because I've I've got to hit the ponies and the horses, and I got a lot of my own program I got to run. But uh, how would you like to be in Kitchen Stadium, Mr. D, doing some fucking Rancho Kitchen Stadium on the road? Rancho Kitchen Stadium on the road. So I'll probably be coming in with that Friday swell from Vegas. That's going to be a hell nightmare from L.A. driving in. I'm not a big cheese person. I like extra sharp cheddar cheese. I, I like a Jarlsberg cheese. I enjoy Swiss cheese. I like a good, really strong blue cheese. One that opens up your nostrils, kind of strong. But otherwise, um, like my father, he just uh, he wasn't a cheese guy either. So, so yeah, thumbs up are most appreciated, guys. Uh, so a lot of stuff is coming up. A lot of stuff is coming up. So I think I'm going to get... Um, I think we're going to pick up a couple steaks, maybe... Uh, Sunday night, we'll just bop over to uh, Mr. Z's house, pick up a couple steaks and taters. Let's get Mr. Z, uh, uh, let's get uh, Limburger. No, let's get Mr. Z on the, let's see if he can uh, do something up, right? Because believe it or not, I had so many 
hotel.com free nights that I earn that this thing, this trip was almost a giveaway even on the weekend, which is great. You don't think one Dorito will be enough for Mr. Z? Well, uh, my my Dorito bikini has three, to four Doritos. One in the back, one in the front, two on the top. Blue cheese and bacon, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, he's got the grill, so I think we're gonna, we might set that up for um, uh, Sunday night, because uh, it's, hotel is all covered and everything like that so I got a really good deal on these I had to use these things to expire these hotel.com now Mr. Z ain't gonna boil no steak but I think we're gonna pick up some nice ribeyes or something and uh, throw them on there impossible burgers I like them what's up Ronnie I like impossible burgers and if you haven't hit the thumbs up button please do so it's very appreciated very appreciated yeah the Dorito except the one a teeny has has about 15 times more material than mine has uh, we're gonna be wheeling out the silver bullet in Vegas this time so we'll have a good time we'll, we'll figure it out I might actually um, I think what I might do hi Cheryl I might throw the gas grill in Mr. Z, and we might do what we always planned on doing. If you remember to get some chairs and a table, we can set up under the garage, uh, our favorite garage there, and maybe uh, have ourselves a hell of a night, you know. Uh, uh, right there, set up Rancho Kitchen Stadium and just set up. We're not going to have any water or anything, so. To Napa Airport, real nice planes out there. That's cool, Catherine. It's good to see Mr. Z. He's you haven't seen Mr. Z much, you know why? Because he's working his fanny off, right? This is prime time for the crane guys down there. So, always earn the big money floating high in the sky. Those things sway two and a half feet at the top, right? I like to ride one of those babies. You get a great view of Vegas, but at what cost, right? Sure. Man. Really, honey? So it's good to see Mr. Z. So we get it all knocked out there. We want to drink a lot of beer. Uh, I've got the. F I understand now. I'm getting a bonus. It's going to be as I expected it to be. So I'm happy. Uh, so we're going to roll it. We're not going to do a lot and. My restaurant eating is going to be very simple, uh, you know, Coney dogs or McDonald's and all that kind of stuff. If I climbed on something real high, like somebody would have to come and get me because I would freeze. Yeah, Mr. Z is just, the guy is just scare proof, right? The guy can go up. How you doing, Robert Mack? Uh, can't wait. There you do, yoga. Mr. Z has no butt to work off. Yeah, yeah, for good. Yeah, I have the flashlight tonight. You know, Mr. Z is just used to it. You get up to 45, 50 stories, 60. And he'll tell you it's that last, those last 20, those last 10 stories up there are the most difficult when you start looking down, right? Yeah, you got to get me up on the crane in my bikini, but you better clear that with your boss. First. Just say it's a promotional. <laughs> Imagine that. We're visiting Sebastopol tonight. We gotta wait for the sun. It's way too early to go up there. How you doing, Teresa? Good to see you, honey doll. And plus we got our final two scratchers of our hundred dollar scratcher fiasco. May or may not end tonight. And Robert Mack in Asia, I know you're in here, brother. Keep an eye on Vietnam, because when Vietnam opens, you and I got a date with destiny. Ho Chi Minh City, Hanoi, Da Nang, and brother, we're going to get over to Cambodia, Laos, all over there, man. We got a date with destiny over there. We're going to be, we're going to be kicking it out over in Cambo. And um, 
Let's see. I want to get on one of those little tuk tucks. <laughs> How you doing, yo, daddy? God, there's some excruciating good-looking girls here tonight. Pumping gas, baby. Pumping gas. Pumping gas. Doggone. 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 Yeah, I'm nuts. Well, I'm looking for, I've been to Vietnam before. I've been to Vietnam since the 19, uh, 1990s, though. But very, very few people went over. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got to keep an eye on it for me, uh, Robert, because you know your way around. But, man, I'm not just going to one place. I'm going up to Hanoi. I'm going to take a ride up to the North Viet. I'm taking a ride up to the Vietnamese-China border pop over on the border to North Korea, all that shit. All right. Smart girls are at the Chevron. I didn't ask her her IQ. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, but I do got to get a top like that. I do have tops like that. Hell, screaming. Hey, how you doing, Lisa? It's such a long time. The lovely Lisa Yarborough in the chat. Yes, there are too many good pe looking people where you live down in uh, Sherman Oaks down there. These people always feel like they can give you a concert. Oh, thank you, Diane. Thank you, honey. I'm experimenting with every different things in the line 911D. What's up, Steve? Uh, hey, Prancer, how you doing? Yeah, I get updates every day or pictures. I think it's going to be around. Well, you know what, Robert? Count me in, man. That's going to be a good jumping off point for China. That's going to be awesome. And if you're in Nam, you might as well go to Laos and Cambodia. I mean, we got to see it all, man. It's a big world out there. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I want to get myself on one of those um, uh, the deadliest catch ships, right? I got to get out there with Captain Gunnar Svensson. Right? <laughs> On the Bering Sea Queen out there. I love to ride those big waves. Uh, you know what? We're in full mask again. You go into that store, you got to have a mask on. You got to have a mask on. Window liquors of doom are closing in. Yes, they are. Guy will probably get me a match here with his. Got that thing so loud on his bike. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. We got a lot of places we got to be. You will win your scratchy. You think so, Mandy? Let's hit one of these bad boys now. God, the temperature just went up two degrees. I hope I'm not screwed. These boys are blowing some weed over here. All right, here we go. Let's do one. Let's do our bonus spot, which we did not win. We need a 50, we got a 48. So our numbers are 14, 36, 31, 41, and 34. Yeah, thumbs up are greatly appreciated. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. Guys are looking at me like I'm a nut. Better lock the door. All right, so 14, 36, 31, 41, and 34. Yeah, Alaska is going to be our winter wonderland adventure. Maybe we'll fly up to Anchorage, right? Uh, let's see. Nothing there. 33, no. 30, no. 42, no. 
20 at 37 though. So our first row is a blowout. Next row, 25, 16, no. 9, no. 38, this might be finally the end of this agonizing scratch off. All right, one more row. So far we're blown out on here. All right, here we go. Next row, 43, nope. 21, nope. 32, <clears throat> nope. 27, 26, no. 8. So we got blown out on that card. That's it. No luck. No luck. All right, we got one more. We'll save that for a couple minutes. It's nice to see Mr. Z tonight. I can tell Mr. Z's fired up for Vegas, so. First time on here talking, love your videos. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate that very, 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 very much. Thank you. I'm always happy to welcome. Should I invest in a deep freezer? I don't know. I would invest more in um, dehydrated goods. Pastas, rice, uh, things like that. Things that you can rehydrate. I would not necessarily go for um, uh, things like uh, that require a deep freezer. So this is beyond absurd. Gee, Alan Gold, now you have something to go over and talk to Tribe about in his chat. Just think about that. Right, while well, you boys have your uh, circle jerk over there. Uh, tell each other how cool you are. What's up, Vicky? How you doing? Uh, like you're the cool guys hanging out. Like, really? <laughs> All right, he gone. He gone. He gone. He gone. He gone. Let's see. Reconnecting. God, these guys loud and annoying. Check it in. Nothing ever being prepared, but I like, um, yeah, Alan Gold, cool, exactly. Well, they get over there and they think they're all, you know, they uh, give each other a reach around. And, uh, you know, they think Blogger, Blogger Puppet is like a god over there, which cracks me up. Ah. All right. Yeah, Mouse Toes is great at prepping, period. Period. All right, let's do our next one here. Let's see, if maybe we got a lucky penny here. Sitting outside watching the cutest little hummingbird. Yeah, I love hummingbirds. Uh, you don't need to give me any more caps there, honey. Hold on to your money. Let's use a lucky quarter. The, at, what is Apostle Islands? Where in the hell is that? Wisconsin? Never heard of it. All right, our winning number is 24, 43, 7, 8, and 28. Our bonus spot, 49. We didn't win that. Videos. Oh, she's got she's got videos. I didn't see any more Pac-Man. I think Pac-Man's gone, which is a blessing. 24, 43, 7, 8, 28. I always have a good feeling when I see consecutive numbers. I don't know. Alright, here we go. 9, no. 34, no. 16, no. 33, no. 35, no. 11, no. So our first row, we're only down to our last two rows. And then we have officially pissed away $100 on scratchers. 29, no. 15, no. 41, no. 44, no. We're down to our last row. 31, no. 21, no. 22, no. 39, row, no. 25, no. Guess what, guys? It's finito. Took us three weeks, and we finally finished that $100 of scratchers. So, 
You do spiritual, just have about a half hour before I go into work. There you go. Well, I was doing them because we cycled through a hundred dollars. It took uh, took a lot of cards to get through it, but we finally made it. Uh, we finally made it through it there. So not their best scratch offs. Yeah, I bought the caps. Oh, okay, caps a year and a half ago. Okay, I hear you. We got to let that sun go down a bit more. Yeah, it's finally over. You know what? Mandy, it's finally over. Finally. Finally. As uh, Gerald Ford said after Nick Richard Nixon resigned on uh, August 8th of 1974, our long national nightmare has come to an end. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Good evening. My fellow Americans. We're going to the cemetery. Yeah, I like Royal Blue. Hey, Sh hey Sharon, how are you? Good to see you, honey. Starting to finally cool off 68. We went down a degree here, so. Tell it like it is. Boy, some people got some badass trucks. That's a Raptor, man. What do those Raptors run? It's like, really? Can you imagine fueling that up? Four dollars and forty-nine cents a gallon. Uh, Four forty-nine. I'll scratchers and on. It'll be a long time before I do a scratcher again, unless somebody uh, sends that. I'm not asking anybody for anything. You wouldn't want to set Alan Gold off. Uh, he was in the hospital when Nixon resigned. Yeah, Vicky. There you go, honey. a different outcome we must face the inevitable fact that the time of healing has been done you will be in capable hands with the installation of president gerald ford the only non-elected president in the history of the united states <laughs> Our little black and white sheds. Right? <laughs> this guy really gonna resign? Really? Really, dude? Just throw it in. Throw it in. Oh, it's tough. How low is that sun? We're gonna have to fight that sun out there. But the good news is, guys. got the flashlight tonight. What's up, Bablin? Long time no see. Long time no see. Gas will skyrocket soon for some reason. Well, we got bigger fish to fry on the agenda for that. We have one of those cataclysmic events in history that will forever, forever define a moment in time for America. Rosie, keep Gavin Newsom. What do you like about Gavin Newsom, Diane? Just because he's good looking or what? What do you like about Gavin? I would have came once, but I didn't want to interrupt you. <laughs> hey, Nancy. Yeah, don't, in, don't interrupt my speech. Therefore, I have decided to resign the presidency of the United States. Effective midnight. Both Pat and I have enjoyed our service to this nation. I beginning back in Let it go. Good night, babe. Hope you feel better. Uh, he has nice hair. Yes, he's a good looking guy. I don't want to go into that tonight, uh, Sugar Cane. Just be forewarned. And, uh, I've said it for the last couple weeks that something big is coming down the pipe. Monumental in the history of this nation. It will be one of those 
there's turning points that will define a moment in time. The wind is drowning you out. It's not real windy. Not real windy. But uh, let's get out there. It's a little easier to find the entranceway, and that way I can also eat some dinner tonight, too. Now, we're like thoroughly blocked into this gas station now. So... We got to go out this way because we are like totally f bombed. I don't even know if I got anything behind me or not here. Oh, all right. Let's get the hell out of here. Can got gone for the day. The hood rats bring all the cans. That guy does a nice job cleaning up at night. <clears throat> We I did pizza last night. I gave Dee the balance of the pizza. I don't really like to, uh, didn't really need that pizza. It was a delicious pizza. It's quite good. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get up the road. Let's uh, drop the sunglasses. We're going to have a little bit of a situation with the sun here, guys, because we're heading due west. mushrooms they're fine put them a little bit of butter I don't know what we got over there that's where I used to get my Christmas tree I don't know what's going we got some guys on the street there I don't know what the hell we got there the hell is that we're set up over there I don't like the way this thing bounces you know Tacos Paradise. I like that. Mushroom Swissburger. I think I'm ready to go back to Tijuana. How about you guys? Uh, set up a streaming house in Tijuana. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, the lady almost hit me. Yeah, homemade pepperoni. I've got a lot of videos of homemade pizzas. For those of you playing the home game, we'll be heading west on Highway 12, which goes from Stockton, California to Bodega Bay. This ain't 
Vegas, baby. We're going to try to hit the other side of the cemetery because it's a little safer when it's light out because there's tremendous dips here and drops and it's a good place to break your ankle over here. This one is cemeteries. We got to be damn careful. It's not quite as bad as Sonoma and Santa Rosa, but it's got its places. Sonoma, I, I judge to be the most dangerous than Santa Rosa. This I would put in number three. Oh, he lost a pair of sunglasses. I almost broke my ankle. Walked right there off the side of a mausoleum wall. I almost joined the dead. It was so bad it knocked my stream off. I think tonight we'll have to settle for a couple of junior jacks later. Probably lost eight pairs of Wayfarers. I mean, I should have stock in Lucata. I mean, damn. I mean, I got to get one of those things that you wear around your neck. I'm tired of losing uh, good sunglasses. Sucks ass. To, you know, they're not they ain't cheap. Wayfarers is really classic. Good signal out here. If not, we're gonna have to drop back to a plan B. It's still pretty early in the month, so I don't think uh, Verizon's choking my service yet. Should be all right. I got a couple gummy bears to tie me over. I do love gummies. God knows what they do to your digestive system. Uh, who in the hell knows? Why are you breaking, dude? gummy bears though. It's like a little bit of quick energy. No real fat to them. Good stuff. I had an old girlfriend back in college. You know, oh, don't eat the bears. Don't eat it. That's really bad. It's just symbolically bad, like you're eating an animal. She was all vegetarian or whatever. And I'm like, well, the hell, I said, if you had it shaped in the shape of a cock, I guess you, <laughs> you'd have no problem. <laughs> and she got all pissed off at that. <laughs> So it's all in the mind, right? <laughs> she didn't like that at all. But it is what it is, you know. I mean, it's it. What is it? It's just friggin' sugar, right? And who cares what the hell the shape is? I mean, it's not like I'm looking at the bear's head. You know, how many bears have ripped people's heads off in real life? Who in the hell screaming? moron out here just screaming. I guess maybe we should walk around here a little bit. Let's um let's 
probably a little early, right? Let's see if we can, uh, can we sneak through here? I don't know. This, this place is weird. This is the place Bohemian Stone works here. This is the place that was, uh, I was boondocking here one night. And at about 4 o'clock in the morning, they started to unload caskets here. I'm like, what the hell, man? This place is a stoneworks, right? This place is, a, is like a damn stoneworks. I mean, what the hell are they doing with caskets in here? There's always kind of weird people walking around. I'm down here to see if there's any good stuff over in this area. Wow, every spot is taken here. What the hell is going on? And they're lined up at Screaming Mimi's tonight for ice cream. Let's see what's going on. Uh, yeah, what's going on? Man, look at all the cars here. What is going on? Is there something going on in town tonight, Cheryl? Is Sebastopol, is there like a farmer's market or something tonight? seen so many cars here. You sound like a Long Island where they're always yelling. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm from Baltimore, man. We yell at people when we drive all the time. We always we always act like everybody can hear us. I don't know what's going on in town. Maybe the circus is in town. I've never seen it so crowded as it is right now. I got no idea why there are so many people in town tonight. Uh, is it like a farmer's market Wednesday night deal? Uh, what the hell is going on? Yeah, I like Swedish fish too. I do like them. But I don't know what the hell is going on here tonight. Somebody's beeping me. Not cool. Not cool, dude. Not cool. What is going on? I think we'll try to do a little chooching. Man, I can't even find a place to park out here. Oh, this looks like a primo spot right here. Bam, just like that. Woo! Look at that. Primo. Right there. Alright, let me load up on a few more bears and then we'll walk around and see what's going on. It is now 65 degrees. Give me a little bit of brain food there. Wow, why am I only at 78%? Yeah, I like Ray Bands. I always like to design. It's not much of styling about me, but that's one of them. Thymacord. These things are probably ten dollars a pound or something. What the hell's that? Cotton candy grapes? What the hell are they? Three ninety nine a pound. Holy smokes! I'm in the wrong business, right? Hmm. Oh, they're good. Those cherries are good. Rainier cherries. Hello. Hi. Cherry season. Are you recording it? <laughs> Just doing a live stream on YouTube. Uh, I have 160. Yeah. I don't have you on it. Don't worry. <sighs> I'm just the uh, fruit, fruit and vegetable checker here. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, just doing some quality control. Oh, yeah. You're looking good. <laughs> I, think, 
Are you recording me? No, you're live, man. <laughs> you're live. Get some of this joy juice on. Hold on a minute, guys. Everything's like an infection waiting to happen right now. Ah. Uh. I wonder if the, this slice of life, this used to be my favorite place. This is where you want to come, Diane, with your mom. You want to come out here to slice of life. This was the original vegetarian restaurant, like in the U.S. right here, 1974. 1974. They closed for a while. Blue chip, blue corn tortillas. Nice. <laughs> Buy some chairs. I only had one. I think they can afford the breakage on that. California avocado ranch burger. Well, you know, they put some kind of joy juice out there for you to use. Joy juice is just generic for something undefined. It's a liquid usually oozing out of tombs or mausoleums. Uh. Top dollar. They don't even put the price up here. What do you think that baby costs? Right on the ocean. Picture perfect pastoral until you have to do the maintenance. Hello. What's up, chef? How you doing? <laughs> Joy juice. Yeah, I was doing some cracking the grill up. I was talking about quality control. God knows how much that costs. <laughs> Frozen chocolate pops are back. No, I didn't see the message, sorry. This person looks half dead in there. I wonder if that's a just a dummy. Hi, cute dog. Yeah, I'm a member of Peter. Diane, you know that. Right? You know what PETA stands for? People eating tasty animals. You never know till you try. If you see some moon grapes. Okay, yeah, I never heard of them before, but that's pretty cool. Um, let's walk Main Street for a block or two, then we'll get up to the cemetery. Yeah, this town is stuck in the 60s here. Sebastopol is like the ultimate hippie town. It's got all these, um, all these boomers from the 60s and stuff that were out at uh, Woodstock and tearing it up, fighting to get a joint.
Yeah, this is a very hoity-toity little uh, area here. Crossover. Man, it got cold really fast now. Let's cross over here. Wait, 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 wait. See, when I grew up, you didn't need to put that on crosswalks. People were probably a little more natively intelligent. You didn't have to. Uh... All right. What is this place for rent? We stand with Twin Hills teachers. I don't know what the hell that's about. Yeah, you need to hold somebody's hands. Wait to cross, it's all gone. It's really shark bait. Walk sign is on to cross Casino Center. Well, there's always somebody bitching about something around here for rent. Always somebody pissed off. No. This is nice window. You come up in the morning and stuff, you get a cookie. Right. That's still open though. Collins caps. Turkey tail mushroom powder. The hell? I wonder if this stuff really makes you healthier. It sure as hell makes you poorer. Reasonable. A cup of water is two dollars with optional lid straw, ice, and lemon. Wow, two dollars. Wow. Hmm. Gypsy Cafe. Masks now required. Only breakfast, lunch, and brunch. No more dinners. Huh? We did a review on this place. The open house. Yeah, I don't know what the hell turkey mushroom powder is. Not in my life. I know. <laughs> Chef still remembers the uh, San Francisco waterfront, the uh, two dog, the oyster. Lord, you couldn't even get a beer unless you got something to eat. How ridiculous. Ridiculous. I like your dog. Thank you. It's funny, I like everybody's dog. Mm -hmm. 
enhance your moon system. Eh, I wonder if that's all a lot of BS, you know? Really, it just de-enhances your pocketbook. Oh, somebody's going to play. Very nice, very nice. One thing I like about uh, around the Bay Area, they put random pianos around town. No, I don't get a strike for that. At worst, you get a copyright match. They're not going to strike you for ambient music. Wow, this place is really cooking. Italian social food. the hell this is all about don't count on it Sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Why don't you hit me, dude? Well, hi. Think about the sun, Pippin. Think about the sun. No, no, no. I need to join a theater group band. There's no business like show business. The only business I know. Yesterday they told you you would not go far, but there you are. You're a star. Da 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 da. So let's on with the show. Yeah, just don't have that Broadway like we used to have, you know. Sad. Sunshine Cafe, help warning. Yeah, jazz hands. <laughs> Wonder if this place bit the bullet. I don't know. <laughs> Well, looks like it's all right. Here today, gone tomorrow. In a weird place, the coffins are stored. That ain't no joke, man. Four o'clock in the morning. I'm like, what the hell is that? I peek out. They got temporary spotlights set up, and they're unloading caskets. I'm like, really? 
Unless it's some kind of design element that I'm not aware of or something. I don't know. It's pretty weird. Really random. This used to be the uh, round table pizza. What the hell was that? It sounded like something just fell. What the hell was that? Sound like something just fell. Let's see, do I got my flashlight? Did I leave it in the car? Or the fl I think I left it in the car. I hope I did. Did I drop the flashlight? I don't think I did. I don't see it. Oh yeah, the vegan. Yeah, you know, I can't put a bear in my mouth. I said, you got no problem putting other stuff in your mouth. If it was shaped like a cock, I'm sure you would. <laughs> That's the one that only wanted to go to Barry Manilow concerts. That was the end of that, right? Oh, man. First one is doable, but beyond that, K and L Bistro. These, these young couples, they talk so so quietly to each other. Right, it's, it's almost like they're whispering up there. It's almost like, and I told you I'd love you. And I don't have as eyes for anybody else. Yeah, but I heard you. They told me on your Facebook, blah, blah, blah. Right. Wait, wait, wait. To cross Bodega Avenue at North Main Street. Wait. Yeah, I'm supposed to have a walk. Yeah, go right ahead. Don't let me slow you down, dickhead. One of those entitled pricks. guy practically flattened me. I mean, I got the walk sign and they're just going to keep turning into me. Really? <sighs> I'm still playing. Don't bust my balls, Cheryl. Milk and honey. Treasures and pleasures of the goddess. They are driving like insane. Oops, I don't want to get their attention. They'll come open the store. What did you want to buy? Nothing. Yeah, 1450 a month for that. Doesn't even have a bedroom. Look at that, the thing is caving in in the middle. Right. That's your whole apartment right there. It's no wonder people can't get ahead. 909, that's Florence Avenue. Five thousand a month. That's it. What a nightmare. Things a dump. You're gonna be living in a dump. Right? Bunch of bullshit. Fourteen hundred and fifty. 
know, it'll have to be two people to share that. Surprise, the bar's open. What's up, AJ? How you doing tonight? Oh, it's got really cold all of a sudden. I hate going to a cemetery when it's cold. See if I can get killed here. I think I'll just lost you. Wait. Wait. It's all it's cold here. Once that sun starts to go down, that temperature just drops like a rock. We best get over to the cemetery. Oh, dude, yeah, don't let me stop you. See this shit? Just. The chosen. Where's the cops when this person almost hits me here? The person practically hit me. Dangerous these days. Oh, there we go, Linda. What an offer. Wouldn't that be awesome? I can give you feet rubs and back rubs and tummy rubs and all kinds of rubs, Linda. What an offer. Give you a few laughs too. Like that, huh? It's called the golden hour. Best time for videography. You got the golden hour and the blue hour. What the hell's that? Money? What is that? It's a knee brace. Clean that up a little bit. Always check the ground. Remember, we got a good money score today. 46 cents. All right. Oh. All right, here we go. Damn, it got cold. All right. What the hell is the temperature? Look at that. Don't mind that date. 64 degrees. Wow. Like really? Oh man. Go ahead, Pop. Don't let me slow you down. Go ahead. Go ahead. God's wearing purple. Refugee from the 70s. Let's see. Gotta be damn careful pulling out of here. You get your nuts in your mouth if you don't handle this right. Let's get out of here. No, I never have road rage. No, it's road rage is never worth it on the road. The only time I have road rage is when I'm a pedestrian and people are coming along. It's like, really? You're going to take me out, dude? Well, they slam into you and you get your nuts in your mouth, you know? That's what I mean. Oh, All right. Boy, that sun is really killer right now. Really killer. Oh. 
Well, I, I hate to say that, but the guy, you know, I mean, I'm looking at the cop too, like the, the cop is two cars back and he's looking at it and he's just kind of shaking his head and like, dude, the guy almost like hit me, you know, and he's just shaking his head and waving, oh, how you doing? Yeah, oh, did the milk truck come to town yet? You know? Oh, how you doing? <laughs> Uh, how you doing? How you doing? You know, did the uh, did the cattle truck come through town yet? Watch me get a ticket for making a right hand turn or something, right? All right, let's get over to the cemetery here. Uh, shoot, we're getting already an hour and a half here, so we need a good solid. We've got to do a little bit of a hike in here tonight. Uh, we do have the flashlight, which is fully charged. I did find it in the netting in the back of the van. Because at the last minute, I decided not to take it into Mexico with me because of the lithium battery. I thought they might have that at the uh, TSA in Mexico, which is extremely as thorough as the United States, by the way, when you're flying within domestically belts off everything it's the whole deal scanners hold up your hand arms checking everything bags through the machine profiling in all that yeah i think cuomo's lost his ability to govern right now yes yep whereas i think uh I could not in good conscience vote to recall Governor Newsom. I think he's done a pretty good job. We have a gigantic surplus in this state. Bigger than half of the bigger than uh, half the states in the union's average budget. So we got money coming out the wazoo. We got one of the biggest surpluses in history. This state's firing all on all cylinders. Man, it's a money machine. All right, here we go. Right, here we go. All right, let's go in. What the hell does that purple flag mean? Oh, this road is terrible. When that temperature went from. 64 to 59 degrees as soon as we crossed in there. Man, that was weird. That was weird. We gotta watch out for rattlesnakes right now. Unbelievably cold all of a sudden. We gotta park at a good spot that we're not gonna, you know, I don't want anybody to be inside the van when I get back, right? So I think we'll try to we'll try to park over here. My biggest fear is somebody's in the van when we come back and it's dark. And I get in the van and then the hand reaches from the back seat and it's all over. All right, let's get on the stick here. Let's get on the stick. Yeah, this has a lot of damage from earthquakes. You'll see a lot of, not as bad as Santa Rosa, which was the worst because Santa Rosa must be more on a fault line than this place. But there's a lot of rat holes and snakes and stuff around here. Check that front passenger tire when you were in school. Do school foods look like a nail in a tire? I don't know. I don't think so. I just got new tires. Hope I don't have a friggin' nail. I'm so sick of nails and screws in there. Just when I'm getting ready to hit the road. All right. I think it's all right. You saw one? I don't see it. Pretty good. I got brand new spanking tires on here. My warning didn't go off. So 
So what's up, Tammy? California has mainly open cemeteries, open 24-7. Just like Las Vegas. All right, just like Nevada. All right, I don't really see anything here. Yeah, we went to Forestville Cemetery, wine country. Yeah, you can see that, uh, just put Forestville Cemetery, or Chooching Forestville in the uh, search box. I think I'm okay. These are really nice Cooper tires. Shit, thanks for reminding me. I don't got my flashlight. Could you imagine that? Wow. Good, good call. They just, uh, it's just the nature of the cemeteries here. They're just always open. I know, oy vey, there it is, there it is, yeah, I think, I haven't gone through Forest Lawn, but I've gone to the Hollywood Forever, where they stuff them in like sardines in there, what is going on over here, what is this, what is this, wow, The right to vote is one. What the hell does that mean? Here lies a participant in the suffrage movement of 1848 to 1920. Litchfield. Huh. How about that? This, this is like they're creating a box of doom here. What is this? weird over here tonight, huh? Look at that. Look at that, princess. How random is that? Right. Yeah, I mean, how often do you see this? Like, here lies a women's suffragette. Right. The right to vote is won. They got all these birds together too here. These chicks, they got some, they got some stones, man. And then they got this, I guess they're doing, what the hell is this thing? Winkler. This must be a new one. They got that rolled stone. Man, you know that thing's heavy as hell. Look at this horrific tree here. Oh man, this is this is my chooch. When I'm gone, people will ever will always connect it with cemeteries and things, which is really cool. Where they got these suffragettes all over the place here. Did I lock the, oh yeah, I forgot to lock the van. Shoot, thank you, Linda. Well, the sun's gone down too. Hey, mouse toes. How you doing, babe? Lee McFarlane. Bess. See, you got all these uh, rat and snake holes here. Right. So we got to be damn careful here. Look at how this tree's just pitched over. to vote is one. That tree is right over somebody's grave. Native of Nova Scotia. Yeah. See the way that thing is all overgrown? That whole thing just pitched over right there. Ow. Look 
that tree. I tell you, you see some of the ugliest stuff in cemeteries. How often in life have you seen a tree pitched over like that? Well, I just split that mofo, didn't it? Oh, that thing's dying, huh? Look at that. No, no scavenger, but look at this thing. There's probably snakes in here. <laughs> the tree was all rotten. Wow. <laughs> Smell that joy juice running through it. To tell you, California has some of the ugliest cemeteries on planet Earth. There's another one of these chicks with a mouthpiece. Snakes in there. Look at that thing. That tree will probably still live. Seems like in a normal cemetery, you would take that tree down, right? Hey, stay real. How you doing? And you can always tell from the 1880s to 1910 this herringbone pattern here. Eighteen fifty-seven, nineteen twenty-five. Just imagine if you had to put we'll put one of these up. This is where the homeless are always down in this thing. If anybody's down, we got to be careful of snakes and rats in here. Before we get over to where the black widders are, that's what Princess wants to see. That hey, Samina, how you doing? Are you from Nova Scotia? We just saw somebody from Nova Scotia. Well, we didn't see him. We you know what I mean. Let's see. I'm always afraid I'm going to trip over here. Yeah, some people, you'll see some things out here. You can always tell a baby always has a little lamb on top of the thing. Our darling baby, Elisa Gobi. She died uh, almost, she made it to one year old. 1938 to 1939. Hi. How is that? Yeah, I always hate to see kids' graves, but I know they're in the best place that they can be. Dead right on top there. Eighteen ninety-seven, and my mother. I don't know what happened to Pop. Looks like Pop didn't make the cut. I don't know. Yeah, my uh, I had a uh, brother that passed it a few days old. Oh, where you gotta watch out over here. You got homeless people sleeping here. Oh. You gotta also be careful sticking your hand in these things because most people get bit by black widows. They pull flowers out to change in it. It has black widows on them. You gotta be darn careful. What the hell is that? It's like a Black Widow Fiesta up there. No doubt about that. Oh, man. Boy, 
this person's got a whole novel written here. Goldie Williamson. God saw she was getting tired. Come on. Ah, poor kid. He only takes the best. Nice looking lady. God bless you, honey. Ooh, 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 there's a spider right there. Shoot. Just trying to straighten that thing out. Man. You gotta be careful with these things. Man, there's a real cowboy right there. Veteran of World War II. What's up, Joni? Yeah, I don't, I don't go sticking my hands in those things because statistically, at graveyards, that's where most people get bit. There, what the hell is this thing? Got to be careful. This is where the bobcats and stuff like that come out of these areas. What is this? Yeah, what's this biogen mosquito? monitoring something the county must have set up I don't know. it's even got a battery a six volt battery there what the hell do you think that's about that's an old sebastopol memorial i guess there's malaria here or something i don't know What do you think that is, Cheryl? Biogents mosquito monitoring. I've, everything I see in the cemetery to me is all paranormal. I've seen more stuff floating around cemeteries and more weird noises and moans. and I've seen more stuff than this person ought to see in their lifetime. They haven't been sprayed with some defoliant, though. You know, to get a little taste. Mm. They're good. What kind of fruit is this? It looks like a lychee fruit or something. I don't know. It looks like some. Gotta watch out for snakes in here. Right, you start to hear that rattle, we gotta back off. I've seen more stuff than a person ought to see in 10 lifetimes in cemeteries. I've been in a cemetery and a, and a damn crow just dead drop right in front of me on the ground. I mean, if that's, if that's not a message of madness, right? Well, I say we gotta be careful here. He's the best choice for uh, cemeteries. All right. There you go, uh, Joni. Get that uh, screenshot there. there you go. It just has a stench of death on it. I guess this is a table here. I don't know. Is that what the hell that is? What is this thing? Yeah, 
these are like tables of doom here. Alright. Let's get up the road here. A lot of nice Italian names here. Italians do it up in death. I like that. They do it up. Fiori. What's up, Wendy? How you doing? Long time no see. What's going on? That guy, didn't this guy look like a baseball player? This guy looks like a classic baseball player right there. You don't like the uh, pictures? I, th I think they give a little bit of... Um, they, get li they give a little bit of depth to the experience, you know, which I like. I mean, I can I can relate to this as a beautiful couple. This 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 gal looks this looks like Lucy and Ricky from right, Ricky Ricardo a little bit and Lucy Ball. Yeah, it gives that personal touch, right? I mean, what a what a beautiful woman. I mean, that's what I love. This is Italian, man. This is this is this is it. Scongili, huh? This is it. That's what I say. Just the Italians do it up. All right, let's get over here. That's what I like. Look at that sunset now. You know what I mean, Jennifer? Jennifer agrees. Now, you're not going to find any needles over here. Uh, for people that are needle addicts, and this is too far to come up here. They can just go to the homeless shelter. They can do it right in the right in the dining room. Ain't nobody care. Now this guy's got a boat here. Really? Private property. Guy got a ladder in a tree. Yeah, it's a mobile home. Right. It's like the mobile of doom right there. The thing's on a slant. I guarantee there's rattlesnakes in here. Guaranteed. You walk from here over there, you'll be dead. Oh, nice chill night at the cemetery. This is the engraver shed here. Yeah, so I love the Italians, man. They do it up. Boozell. It's funny, the daughter, the Boo Bolts and Boozell. Pretty funny. What's the noise over here? What the hell's that noise? That's the office there. If anybody's around, computers on. I don't know. Your protection. I don't know. Yeah, this. What the hell's going on in there? Guys watching on the screen. I think everything's recorded there. Sun goes down fast here. This place is like a death trap. This place is like a certified death trap right here. It's a marijuana plant. got recorded and right there that's my history that's me that's what I live for that's it 
place is like falling apart. They haven't interred a body yet. Look at that down there. It smells rotten with death. Wow. I know I've been framed. I can't believe what it smells like. It smells like rotten rats. George but the Baldacci. No, I would, I would really be disgusted if somebody took a dump in a cemetery. I mean, it happens in Vegas all the time, sadly. <clears throat> but to me, it's the ultimate um, desecration. It's one thing to walk around. I'm not dancing on graves. I'm not disturbing anything. I'm straightening out things when I can. I wonder what's down here. We might lose the signal soon. This is like real hillbilly stuff down here. Look at this. This is like walking into the friggin' Ozarks. It's like, total hillbilly here. Yeah, it's like something out of deliverance baby carriages look at all this stuff random things wow look at this thing This high pressure sprayer. <laughs> Something smells like death right here. <sighs> I wonder. Wow, look at that trailer right there. Anybody home? Wow, this is really spooky. Smells like something died here. <laughs> really weird. Everything just smells rotten right here. How far we dare go in? There's a couch there. I wonder if people are living back here or what? So hillbilly, it's like a marijuana farm. That's what I'm smelling. I don't want to get shot back here. That's what I'm smelling. I bet this is a pot farm over here. Wow, look at all this. The hell is this to make this all pottier? seen so many pot plants look at that this is a good place to get killed back here look at that well I don't think I'm supposed to be here either I don't even know if this thing is legal baby pot plants here. Wow. I got a lot of pot plants here. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Oh shit. Dog. Let's get 
the hell out of here. Wow, that's weird. Well, I was wondering what the hell I smelled. What a great place to have a hidden pot farm, huh? See how well camouflaged this place is. Let's go up here and see how well camouflaged this place is. See, look at this fence here. Nobody ever comes back here, right? snakes. Let's go in for a little bit of a reconnoiter here. Look at that. You can't see anything from this side. Yeah, wow, well, what an operation. Remember I kept saying something smelled like death? I wasn't bullshit, was I? Look at what we stumbled in tonight. There might be more up here. Whoa. We're getting in the thick of the snakes now. Be careful. Oh, there's somebody walking around. Oh, shit. What's that? Pacifico. It's probably Mexicans running. What was that? All the Mexicans run. What the hell's this guy doing over here? There's the water lines running. Water lines are running right into there. There's all kinds of people creeping around. We might be able to see the grow operation down here. Let's see. Well, look at that. What the hell is this thing? Damn beehive. No. I don't have anything with me. We're just kind of doing a flanking maneuver right here. Looks like people ride ATVs into here.
an operation. Somebody's got their chair there. Expected to see this tonight. What do you think the value of all that uh, is? What do you think the value of what is it? Uh, uh, two, four, six, ten by five hundred plants here. Probably three hundred, eight hundred plants. Got to make sure there's no trip wires here or anything. Walking along, this is a well-concealed operation here. You got to be careful of punji sticks or whatever here. You know, nobody plants that stuff to get it heisted. Hope you got a good picture of that, Jody. What the hell? What's up, Pamela? We're all right. I just doing a perimeter walk. I don't think somebody's gonna kill somebody out here for just wandering around. But they got the water lines running down here and everything. <laughs> Papa Perkins, can I get the coordinates? <laughs> <laughs> drop a lot this baby let's mark it to the second <clears throat> that's a hell of an operation now it's a huge grow operation right there another apple Nice grabbing stains here. Let's see. I know it's got a worm. That's that. It's a little baby grabbing stain there. Man, what an operation. This man is still over here. Well, it's well concealed because you're not supposed to go down that road, right? Well, if my stomach gets upset, we'll know he's a crab by a four cent.
watching me in that van over there. The van has me under observation right now. Just sounds like I'm chewing loud. All right. Man, what a hillbilly operation this is. We better go uh, confront these people up here. Let's see if this is friend or foe. Because I do have a champion. They might think I'm a real hood rat with all my champion sweatshirt on and all that. Like, I'm part of a rival gang. Checking it out. Man, look at this stuff. Real hillbilly. just floating around waiting to latch on to me really ooh, 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 what the hell's that a fox oh shit scared the hell out of me Whew. wow did you see that wow did you see that fox I hear people talking. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. Well, what the hell are those people doing in the van? If you're going to have a confrontation, take it to them. Let it be at the place of your choosing. What's going on? Just my luck, the sun's gone down too. Gonna walk by and do a lateral observation. Okay, nobody in the van. So let's uh, let's figure our next move here. Let's slide through here. Observation point. Yeah, I know they don't play. I just need to. I don't like suspense, so I'll just move towards it to figure it out. I'm assuming maybe it's that couple with the dog just walking around. Man, there's a snake hole. Yeah, there's a lot of rats through here. Like, I don't know why this is all green here. Well, green per se. Ryan Winfield Quam.
wonder this guy's got all these cameras in the back. Right. Well, they got a damn sight catch me. And for an old broad, I can truck along pretty good. voices these people again it must be their grow operation here oh what the hell is this coming oh, shit night of the living dead shit this guy looks like trouble right here We're gonna have to get the hell out of here. You know that guy? No, he looked a little creepy though. <laughs> what are you videoing? I'm live on YouTube. I'm just doing a live stream from the cemetery here. Oh, nice. So just wandering around a little bit and cool. entertaining the troops. We've got about 200 people watching. So. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, the guy just kind of freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> Enjoy your night. Yeah, you what the hell's this guy doing? This guy's on the job right now. This guy is watching me. Yeah, I know. I know Wendy, but uh, you know, I'm just kind of just want to see what develops here. Now we've really stumbled into something big. I wish this guy would move on. Now we're gonna have to go to their van in the dark tonight. leaves where'd he go
Look at locked in. See any widows tonight? The hell is that? That crap fell down. I don't see any black widow in here tonight. Most dangerous situation. I've probably been in a tenderloin in San Francisco being ganged up on by a couple hundred people. That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Let's see what's in here. Valentine's Day. Dale. I can tell there's a big juicy one around here somewhere. Dale has had blood right there. Something just dropped on me. You gotta really be careful up here. We don't want to be trapped in here at dark. See if we got some hangers outside here. Surprise, we're pretty depleted here. Oh shit, the door is locked. Just took the application of a little bit of force. What the hell's in here? What do you see in here? There's a mirror in here. Let's 
Sorry, Pamela. I mean, even if I was locked in, I don't think I'd die. I just... Whoa, what the hell is that? I'd worry more about spiders attacking me at night. Right. Gotta find at least one black widow. Jolene O'Kelly. I like that name, Jolene. You gotta have real hot weather to bring the witters out. Well, there's a bee's nest there. Hell. What a night. That van's still there. walk over that ground sounding hollow. Man, not one widow tonight? <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. Who is that? Oh, sorry. I thought somebody was be <laughs> was behind me there. Yeah, I know how it goes. <laughs> you see this over here? Yeah, I saw it's like, uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Guy is just like on me tonight. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't know, guys, if I'm even gonna make it out of here alive tonight. We can try. Let's keep an eye on that dude. Definitely part of that grow operation. Not cool tonight. Yeah, the problem is this guy's about six feet five and about 250 pounds. I'm a little outmatched tonight. I have no idea where he went.
This was stupid tonight. You can smell that marijuana. Smell like crazy. We're gonna have to give it our best shot. Ah, oh, there goes the van. I think that's the people with the dog. It just means it's me and that dude in here now. Shit. Get a 44 round in my head tonight. Get the hell out of here. Where is this guy? like rats running across here right now. Right, let's get the hell out of here and hope this guy just doesn't roll up on us all of a sudden. Let's get the hell out of here. Lock that door. Let's get the hell out of here. That guy popped up on me two times. One time is fine. The second time, it ain't random. The guy's trying to figure out what I'm doing. No, no third, no thirty-year-old guy, single guys walking around a damn cemetery on a Wednesday night. Really? Watch me get a slug in the window here. Right. What the hell is this guy? I wanted me to go over to that deep area of the of the cemetery over there. Ain't no way I'm going over there. I'm like, oh, to see over here over the hill, it's like it's like solid woods there with a few Japanese graves. Are you kidding me? It's like really? Oh, damn, we didn't even get a black widow because of this guy. All of a sudden, a guy just rolled up on me like twice. I don't know whether he was hitting on me or wanted to. What the hell he was doing? I don't know. Shit, crazy. So he killed on this thing. Damn. Yeah, he was sizing me up and he kept walking towards me, which really started. You know, like, whenever you pass somebody, you generally keep on a straight course. But when somebody starts walking towards you, you know they're getting ready to take a swing on you or something, right? So I'm, like, ready to kick a... I'm ready to do the kick to the nuts, right? I'm just, like, going to go airborne and boom, one up kick right there and hope for the best. Right. Man, what a night. Didn't expect that. That didn't go as planned tonight. Stumbling upon a grow operation. Man. That did not 
go as planned tonight. By any stretch of the imagination. That was just too freaky tonight. Just, I don't like it when you're walking. It's like if you're walking down the street and you're walking down one side and somebody's walking the sidewalk and the other, and all of a sudden they, they start veering off. They cross the street and they start walking right over to you. Well, you know that's not a good That's probably not going to be a good thing, right? That's probably not going to be a good thing. You're probably fixing to not have a great day. No, there's no point following me. Just, that's that's a lot of value over there in that place. That is a lot of value. You saw somebody randomly came on the stream. Where is this place? Somebody went there and like go over and wipe it out. Right. Yeah, I can't believe the magnitude of that place. I judge that to be about uh, 800 plants in that place. No, I didn't. I wouldn't think to ever take pepper spray out to Sebastopol. You know, it's like a hippie town. It's all chill. I, mean, I just never expected to run into that, right? I'm going to use my portable bathroom for a minute down here. Oh, boy. On that bear plow, those, those plants look fan... I mean, I'm not a marijuana user. Those plants look fantastic in there. Those things were huge, bushy, big... Right. Bushy and big. know what the legalities are but that was a huge operation I don't know where they're getting their water or anything so you know I'm just on a need-to-know basis that's all apartment but got lost in the cemetery I don't know how many 30 year old guys you see in the cemetery all right Cheryl said well I mean 60 some year old or gone or well you know I see a lot more people closer to my age group than younger just saying, Cheryl, my girl. Uh, I'm going to have to start packing my heater when I come over here. Whew. Pick blackberries and apples. I hope I don't get sick off of that shit I ate. But I don't think I have enough recognition of a Gravenstein apple to know what the hell it is. I mean, I got a Gravenstein apple tree in the yard. What doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Well, the guy that uh, carves the blocks and all that stuff and does the maintenance, he's got to be in on it, right? <clears throat> you can smell that. I thought there was dead bodies stacked back there. It smelled so bad. 
guys didn't get that stink back there? Holy smokes. Remember I was walking, I'm like, what the hell is that smell? Who died? How you doing, Jay? What's going on? What a night, huh? Lucky I got out of there alive. I mean, when it comes when it comes to money and stuff like that, people don't mess around. I never never interfere with a man's livelihood. How you doing tonight? Hi Donna. Yeah, what a night, huh? This is one shoot for the record books. It is time. You know, I could really use a beer tonight. I gotta get up kind of early to get that car tomorrow. I'm doing good, thank you. How you doing? get some dinner now. Yeah, it's a very, uh, it's a very sketch growing on. There's nothing, there's nothing legal about that growing operation. But, uh, I mind my own business. I don't get involved in that. way you're going to have that volume of plants without the something
would lay in that someone to tell you the truth. I don't know where the division is. I just don't know. Uh, you know, I'm just, number one, I don't smoke weed. I'm not an expert on weed. Number two, I don't know where the division of land is there. But I know damn well that a guy that's working there, maintenance, that guy's got to know what the hell is going on. And the guy's got cameras back there. Well, I mean, you know, he doesn't got the cameras in the front. He's got the cameras down that walkway I walked down, right? I mean, I'm like, why in the hell is this guy recording this whole hillbilly thing back here? Yeah, thank you, Pamela. I just goofed around a little bit on that. Yeah, it was very exciting. But, uh, you know, when it comes to churches, the uh, the governing rule is always mind your own business. Uh, keep your snood out of things. Yeah, I'll, I'll be okay, Patty. I'm not going to worry about that. Tomorrow I got to go pick up the car. Bobby's picking me up at 9 o'clock. Going to go pick up the uh, Kia from Janet. And then Friday we're on the boat, road very early to Vegas. Have a good weekend with Mr. Z down there kicking it. And then uh, we're going to really commence to doing hitting that gambling hard down there. some adventure for the middle of uh, August. We haven't quite defined what that's going to be yet. Oh, what a night. What a night. Man, whoever expected to stumble into that? I mean, really? Please wear a mask before reaching the window. Well, I guess I'll have to do that. Good night, Linda. Uh, do I wash my hands? Uh, no, not tonight. Oh, shit. What the hell's that? Good night, Molly. Uh, thank you, honey. Always an honor to see you here, Molly. One of my, uh, Molly don't post a lot, but uh, I always know Molly's around. And I love Molly. What a night, huh? You going to you going to double shot? I, I might be on the air going down to get the uh, uh, car tomorrow. I was here a few hours, but I kept forgetting. There's a hey Flan, how you doing? Yeah, there is. You're on the East Coast time. Yeah, thank you, Muse. Thank you very much, sweetheart. Can't believe we're masking again and all that. Yeah, it's been a great night, Rupert. I'll tell you, you never know when you go out on one of these streams. This is why Chuchin is the greatest thing on planet Earth. Because, brother, you go out there, you don't know whether you're going to encounter rats, snakes, thugs, you know, people hopped up on crack, pot farm. You don't know what the hell you're going to find out there. I mean, we went out for Black Widows and we found a million dollar grow operation, right? Kind of rope. Discovered the green bastard. <laughs> e, yeah. 
Yeah, the fox scared the hell out of me. That fox just jumped out. I thought the thing was going to attack me. I thought the thing was going to attack me. And then it's just like, oh, wow, this is all I need tonight. Now I've got to fight for my life against a fox, right? I'm going to have a couple, uh, just a couple junior, junior jacks. They're just regular burgers. Maybe a value fry and a drink. The only thing I really had today was uh, those two pieces of Ezekiel bread with you guys this morning and a few gummy bears. Oh, what a night. Are we plugged in here? Uh, if I had a nickel. Loo -do, 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 do What the hell's the hold up here? I don't know what we got PG&E over here. What the hell these guys are doing. Oh, Joe, it's been a hell of a stream tonight. We ended up uh, Stumbling upon a big marijuana grow operation tonight uh, by the cemetery was really something. <laughs> Humboldt County. How about Sonoma County, baby? I mean, those could be cemetery possessions lying in the back of that office. What do you think? Uh, I got, I, I, it's really hard to say, Patricia. I always try to put a positive and legal spin on things. In other words, somebody that's working there has to be a fairly reputable character to, uh, you know, they have to be of a mind to properly dispose of people's, you know, in a dignified manner. I mean, it takes a certain kind of person, right? I mean, it takes a person with some fidelity and uh, that does the right thing when nobody's watching, right? What a night. Uh, Joe, I guess you're in, I don't know if you guys are in lockdown in Perth or what the story is there. What the hell are we doing here? The staff just walk out or what? I don't know what the hell happened. Can I get uh, two Junior Jumbo Jacks with uh, lettuce, tomato, pickles, ketchup, and mustard? One what, I want two Junior Jumbo Jacks with lettuce, tomato, mustard, ketchup, and pickles, please. Anything else? I want a value fry. And I would like a value drink, diet uh, Coke or diet Pepsi. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. Yeah, I'll get you the top of the I see what it is here. Six fifty one. Which is a great friggin' deal. Let's see if I got. Let's see if I got that. Cheap eats tonight. Got a five spot here, which I don't. Uh, do 20, 51. I think we can make 51 cents. Quarter there. 
51. You guys know I found 46 cents on the ground today. Can you imagine that? That's when I knew it was going to be a great day today. Hell of a great day today. What's up, Ace? How you doing? Oh, good for you, Joe. I'm glad you had both of your jabs. Excellent day. I'm glad in the West Perth is good and Mandora and all of that's excellent. That is great news. So happy to hear that. Thank you, EJ. Great night, huh? What an epic stream. Patricia's like, yes, so you smell death, exactly. There was an open liner for a call pot farm, yes. Yep, I'm going to, Ashley, thank you. Thank you, my girl. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be managing a fast food place now. Remember, you don't just serve it up. You got to unload all the stuff comes in to be delivered. It's all got to be put away. Degrees. Yeah, it was a hell of a show tonight, Judy. Hell of a show. The channel went big time tonight. Stumbled on a grow operation. Yeah, but the neon, you know the problem with the neon boneyard, uh, Jay, is they don't let you record there. You can't do any videos there. So if I can't share it with you guys, eh, you know, it's just not as much fun if I can't share it with you guys. Yeah, it's actually a cemetery, Flan. Which I guess I can't think of a better place to have a grow operation. It's a place in uh, Vegas that has all the old collection of all the old neon signs they took down from the old hotels and stuff. And they light them all up and they put them in one location so you can see them all. Yeah, it was uh, very interesting tonight, Joe. I, I felt a little like I was in danger tonight. Uh, they just don't want you to record or else people wouldn't come and see it, I guess their thinking is. Right. Hello, Glenda. How are you? Oh, yeah, Stellar would go crazy about that. Anybody would like that neon boneyard, yeah. Man, this is really a slow operation tonight. I got people backed up so far behind me tonight. 
Yeah, you never know what kind of danger you're going to find yourself in. All of a sudden, you're just in a deep end of the pool. You got some random guy. All of a sudden, you, you're, you're like in deliverance or something. You're walking down this road, and all of a sudden, you come into Hillbilly Junction right there. You're like, what the hell? Every place kind of has limited staff right now. But you got to be patient. You got to be nice to these people. Right. I've really learned to be very patient and very nice to people here. Got one girl working the window here. Guys yelling at her now? You gotta be ultra patient. It's like Mexico trained me to be ultra patient. There's no fast and fast food anymore. Any sauces? Uh, extra ketchup, please. Ketchup. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Poor chick's gonna have a gun in her face one day in this hood. Let's get out of here. Oh, you got that awful heat. I'm sorry, honey. I freaked Janet out because I like the heat. I like the heat and I liked Portland. It was nice and crispy at 90. So I like that. That's just me. We will be taking the epic cold challenge this winter. We will be front running a blizzard. All right, let's see what the boys are doing over here tonight. There we go. The laundromat of doom. There we go. There it is. All right, let's get something to drink here. Yeah, Alan Gold, I think that's what your parents asked when you turned uh, 21 years old, right? Is this nightmare still going on? Uh, poor Alan Gold's parents. You know? <laughs> Is this nightmare still going on? <laughs> uh, imagine those poor parents. Those poor parents. Let's see what we got here tonight. Oh boy. Uh, man, what's this guy doing? Put my money away. Make sure the door's locked. This place is arguably weirder than the other place. Drying out the now the circus way above my um only if I hit it big. Let's see. What's up, EJ? How you doing? Yeah, I walked in on opening night and I did... Uh, I don't know if it was opening night, but it was early on did a tour it was pretty awesome you notice now you ask for ketchup they don't give you any i don't know if 
ketchup is in short supply or what's going on or people are making tomato soup out of it or something I don't know uh, it's another place you might end up getting a gun in your face here you know uh, Put this burger together. July rained every day except the, well, well. Typical dry season here, Joe. But spring will be coming soon for you guys. No, I did not get curly fries. No. I just got the standard ones. They were value priced. Yeah, maybe that's a, that's an idea. I don't know if I'd play the slots there, but the sports book, that could be a good call. Uh, what did Teresa say? Oh, shit, I almost spilled my drink. Oh, how was your night? Oh, kind of chill. You know, stumbled across a million-dollar greenery. <laughs> Mm. Laundry time. This is the uh, sanitizing crew. They're getting ready to swing into action. I have to tell you, they did a good, just a good, uh, good, good burger. Good burger. Dead alive. Let's see, I've been on top chat the whole time. Hey, Andre, how are you? My Brazilian friend, Andre Luis. Pretty quiet night at the laundromat tonight. Working crew sitting at that table on the left there. This is from uh, Jack in the Box, Flan. No, no floor sleepers tonight. And you're supposed to have a mask on too, but uh, nobody's really got a mask on in there. I ordered a, a couple of junior, just on the value member menu, a couple hamburgers and fry. Value fry. And uh, they threw down a good burger tonight. I have to give them credit. 
Yeah, thank you, Andre. Good to see you, my wonderful friend from Brazil. Put a little extra ketchup on it. Hello, treasure. I don't know what time it is. It might be too late. I think I don't think we're gonna make last call at Dutch Brothers tonight. <clears throat> Cemetery got cut so short. Good burger for a buck sixty nine. I love Mexicans when they do laundry, they bring the whole family in there. Oh, nice, John. I have to try them sometime. Yeah, I was by myself tonight, Ace. Yep. So is Mexican Coca-Cola. I don't know where the hell the gardener is. The guy just, he's on a bender somewhere. Hey, Wendy, good night. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. Yeah, the guy's on a bender somewhere. I don't, nobody knows where the hell he is. I left a hundred bucks to start working on the water system. The guy didn't do jack. He took that hundred bucks and he put it into booze. That's a whole family there. That's a mom with her uh, her arm around her daughter there and her other daughter, sons on the other side. <laughs> the hell is in the garden that's right <laughs> the gardeners at your place hi Becky where the hell is the garden I mean it always happens I had the worst luck That's because I tend to be a low price, low bid shopper, so I'm always just getting the bottom of the barrel. You know, it's not like I'm paying up for a big time company to come in and just do that. Which means I usually end up paying more in the long run anyway for 
I wasn't so cheap. Oh, brother. I always feel like I'm living in like a Mexican version of the Soprano here. Like this is the Bada Bing Club. Hmm? Man, I, I wish I wish the Sopranos I had some burgers. I wish the Sopranos was still on. Damn, that was a good show. Now they're bringing back some prequel. Yeah, female gardener would be fine. Hi, Nicole. How are you doing, baby? I wouldn't care if a, if a dog could garden. I'd hire a dog to garden. I had a hell of a stream tonight, Nicole. We uh, we landed in a in a, right at the edge of a huge grow operation. I mean, I'm talking, you know, like almost a million dollars worth of shit right there. No, no editing to do tonight. And there's going to be very little edited in uh, Vegas. It's all going to be uh, streams and stuff. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. I love Brazil. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, take a sample. No. First rule of chooching, I don't ever dare take anything. I'll be in Vegas at least to, uh, through Monday. Or maybe longer. I love Brazil. I want to go to Sao Paulo and Rio. I hope so, Google. I'm actually hoping in the next two weeks. Or it could be late as November, one or the other. Staying on Fremont have a great garden on you. I know I could wine country, but I like to travel too much. <sighs> Try slobs, it works. That's great, Nicole, I will. I figure not being monetized at this moment is just easy to go live on YouTube. But you're telling me they fixed all that bullshit with the... Uh, couldn't go live on the galaxy it was such a mess and that was tough for me because I helped pioneer the mobile live streaming with Brian the uh, the uh, English voice Now CJ uses, like, come on, man, I've been using that for four, four or five years. What a great dinner tonight. Ah, that's good that you were able to, because they never wrote me back. I think you knew the right way to explain it. Mm. What a great feed tonight. Woo!
Oh, what a feed. That was good, good, good. Woo! Yeah, well, they, in my opinion, they call the problem with them. Um, the problem with them is they always um, they always try to advance too much without getting it right. <laughs> yeah, they were they were always trying to over innovate, and it made it a nightmare. Made it a bloody nightmare. <sighs> yep, spinning away. Spinning away. Anyway, guys, it's been... Uh... Three and a half hours I've been on tonight, so I'm going to uh, thank you guys for being here tonight. Not much more to do. I don't think I'm going to have a coffee tonight. Thank you. I thank you, Nicole. I don't have any editing to do or anything like that. So um, I want to thank you guys for being along today. It was an epic stream tonight. I'm sure it's a stream that'll be talked about all around the um, channels because not often you come across something like that. So I want to thank you guys. If you haven't hit the thumbs up button, Amy, thank you very much. Don't forget Vegas Head. Don't forget tomorrow I'm going to pick up the um, Kia. Going to have another car on the property. And I'm excited about that. So we'll catch up with Bobby tomorrow. I'll probably be live on that expedition. So that'll be a lot of fun. In the uh, meantime, I want to thank you guys for uh, being along. Always good stuff ahead. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, my wonderful moderators. <laughs>